Just like with Wreck-It Ralph, Ready Player One is packed with references, or many websites and YouTube videos listing what they have found, many claiming a complete list. For some reason, they leave off the music references. I will admit, some of the Back to the Future stingers are noticed, and, of course, the opening to the Shining section. But, there are more in this soundtrack. I did get a small amount of help from these two articles, from Movie Music UK and Film Tracks, which I'll note what they gave me that I missed as we go through the soundtrack. So let's dive into Ready Player One and see what musical references we can find, but I won't make the mistake of saying that this is a complete list. I'll also share some thoughts on themes that could or should have made an appearance as well. First things first, let's get the Back to the Future stuff out of the way. Most sources mention at least a few of these, but there are a handful throughout the film. Keep in mind some of these might just be an Alan Silvestri style, and you may disagree, but that's okay. I'll also boost the music to make it easier to hear as well. Zemeckis Cube turns everything back in time 60 seconds. Oh shit! I just figured it out. From here, let's go through the movie chronologically. First bit of orchestral soundtrack is at the introduction to the Oasis. This music is pointed out by new rock stars. The music is a choral chanting, which I feel like is a nod to the main menu of Halo. I very much disagree. The only similarity is that there are vocals. It's not even in a chant style like in Halo. Thanks to Movie Music UK, this music is actually much closer to Adiamus by Carl Jenkins. Check out this place. It's a casino the size of a planet. You can lose your money there. You can get married. You can get divorced. While this might be an overly obvious musical cue, Box Cantata and Fugue in D minor appears with the dead James Halliday. And what he left behind changed everything. Music that has been associated with death for many years, as New Rock Stars points out. As Halliday rises out of the coffin, there's an organ riff as he creepily sits up, all as an homage to the old classic Dracula films. Right after the Bach organ, there's a short funeral call. This takes a few snippets from The Lion King. Same key, similar orchestration. Since it's so short, I'll rate this as plausible. Hello, I'm James Halliday. The music surrounding Anorak and the keys is very much in a Middle Eastern style, using the Phrygian mode. While I'm not sure if it's directly referencing anything, that similar style and mode can be heard in the theme to the Prince of Persia movie. But for a more era-specific soundtrack, the introduction to Quest for Glory 2 has me covered. Yeah. 
The next musical reference I found coincides with a reference others have noticed, but only visually. King Kong's design is said to be based on Peter Jackson's film, but also references the original from 1933. The music here, starting right on the appearance of Kong during the second race, because the first race did not contain music, is Max Steiner's theme to King Kong. The ending to this cue does seem to resemble the finale to The Last Crusade, but I'm not entirely certain that it was intentional. There are some that point out the similarity in Halliday's theme earlier, but we are talking only a few notes there, and the theme to Final Fantasy VII has the same line. This theme is used throughout the movie, but I'll let you decide. It's hard to ignore the music during the steampunk Pirate King moment as being something other than a Pirates of the Caribbean reference. Oh! <laughs> there he is. When the others of the High Five are getting their first key and clue, the music is very similar to the march from 1941 by John Williams. There's five of us on the big board. Artemis was next, no surprise there. She was on the track where I went. She saw me going back. To please the quote, he stole that type, folks. This spot here reminds me of the Ninth Symphonies of both Dvorak and Beethoven. The end of this cue is some sad solo trumpet with suspended strings, very similar to the death music played for Kirk at the beginning of Star Trek Generations. invade the dance club, there is a very short and out of place horn line that sounds like Danny Elfman's Batman theme. I don't think this was intentional though. When the stacks are about to blow, this whole sequence gives me Jaws vibes. Call Alice. Dial Alice. To the Shining sequence, while many sources will point out this opening bit is the opening music to The Shining, they don't take it further and mention that this is the Dies Irae, or the Day of Wrath, and especially the first four notes being the music equivalent to the word death, and some have called it the Wilhelm scream of music. <laughs> Also contained in the Shining sequence is more from the Shining soundtrack, music by Bella Bartok and Christoph Penderecki specifically. During the climax, there's a short call that some might think would be a variation from Back to the Future, 
but this is closer to John Williams' music to Amazing Stories. When we are introduced to Mechagodzilla, this is definitely from the 1954 theme to Godzilla. As an insert after writing this, I listened to Bear McCreary's score to the latest Godzilla movie which contains that theme as well. When Anorak is giving the pen to Parseval, this section resembles music from the abyss. Now you just sign these papers and the oasis is yours. You will be its sole proprietor. That ain't so bad, is it? When seeing the high five at the end, I found one source saying that this references Superman, but I think that's wrong. It's closer to the opening to Amazing Stories, but this open fifth interval is used for superhero soundtracks. So I guess it kind of fits. Who do we have here? Oh, well look who it is. It's my heroes, the high five. And with that, we've gone through the soundtrack chronologically of what I think is already there. Now, let's go through it again and look at some of the things that could be there or should be there in my opinion. While there are some scenes without music that could use a musical reference, I'm going to stick to where they decided to have music in the movie. For the appearance of the T-Rex, a little nugget from Jurassic Park would have been perfect here. Maybe the Predator theme? Seeing the Iron Giant could have used some of Michael Kamen's score for sure. Using music from Child's Play, we could have had this reference. The appearance of the Serenity could have been backed by some music from Firefly. I'm also not very familiar with Gundam music, but I'm sure something could have worked here. This shot could have used some Gears of War reference. He's using the Glade. How about a Kroll callback? In 
since we have the Terminator reference with the thumbs up, how about some music? When Wade flips the coin for an extra life, I was surprised a Mario 1-Up sound wasn't there. Extra life. Thanks, Curie. I really enjoyed watching Ready Player One, with references everywhere including the music. But now is the time where I pass it off to you. What are your thoughts on the movie and these soundtrack references? Were there any that I missed? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to buy me a drink if you'd like to support me financially, and I of course will see you in the next video.